A-I-T-A for being racist to my in-laws. By in-laws I mean my daughter-in-law's parents. So two months ago, my daughter-in-law, F-26, gave birth to my lovely grandson. My family and I are Bulgarian Orthodox. Before my grandson was born I told my son and his wife that I'm going to pay for all baptismal expenses and any childcare expenses for the first year, as long as they gave the kid an Orthodox name. They both agreed without much consideration. They named him David Antoine. David is the Orthodox name and Antoine in honor of the uni professor who mentored both my son and his wife and who sadly passed away during the COVID pandemic. The thing is. While my daughter-in-law converted to Orthodoxy, her parents are atheists of African origin, Ivory Coast, who moved to France. They really wanted their grandson to have a traditional Ivorian name. So two months ago when the baby was born and they found out about the name and the deal they threw a massive fit, directed primarily at my wife and I, name-calling, cursing, accusations of racism. And frankly I wasn't having any of it. I told them that they were insensitive and insulting to not only my religion but also that of their daughter, to their daughter's decision and to the mentor of both their daughter and my son. I told them they are uninvited to the baptism due to their behavior unless they apologize to the parents of our grandchild. Both my son and his wife agreed with my decision. The baptism is next week and while I've been no contact with them, my son tells from the discussions they've had they're still pretty angry and unwilling to apologize but they said they will come to the baptism if I like it or not. My sister tells me I've been acting like a jerk towards them and I should let them join next week if they show up. I maintain that they will not be allowed at the after party. Edit, hello, this post really blew up and it's a bit overwhelming. Many people are calling me a jerk, which might be true. But I would like to clear up some things before other people make judgments based on misconceptions. 1. When I said they will not be allowed at the baptism I meant at the after party which will take place at my home. Only church officials can kick people out at the ceremony itself and unless they are disruptive I don't see a reason they'd be kicked out. 2. My son and his wife paid for their own wedding. She converted of her own free will because it is what she believes in. 3. They originally planned to name my grandchild just Antoine. I suggested an orthodox name so that the child can have a protective saint to call upon if harsh times but everyone will use the name Antoine to address him. 4. My son and his wife can afford the expenses, even without my help. 5. I don't want my in-laws to be happy with the outcome. I just want a simple, sorry, and for them to be civil at the party.